Beach City, Texas is the latest city to report a case of dog flu. Yeah, it's a sickness that's infected more than a thousand dogs in Chicago and other parts of the Midwest. KX HD News reporter Ian Smith spoke with dog experts in Bryan today, and he shows us why dog flu isn't an issue here yet, but what you should do if your dog does get sick. It's hard to imagine any dog suffering from a potentially deadly flu virus. And with an outbreak up north, dog owners have taken to social media with their concerns. But fortunately, the outbreak hasn't made its way to the Brazos Valley. The canine flu is not something that we have seen at all in this area. Um, it is not something that is on, on our radar at this time. Considering the virus is extremely contagious, pet experts say it's always best to err on the side of caution. We want to keep an eye out that we... Uh, we alert people if there is that canine flu in our community. There is not right now. When we see it or when the vet world sees it, it happens in very isolated and very sporadic episodes. If the virus did make its way to the Brazos Valley, there are some symptoms to watch out for. The general symptoms of high fever, uh, lethargy, uh, decreased appetite, decreased drinking, some respiratory symptoms such as coughing, uh, labored breathing. Experts say these symptoms can apply to other health issues as well. It's always a good idea to call your vet if you notice any of them. In Brian Ian Smith, KAGS, HD News. Experts say there is no vaccine for this particular strand of dog flu at this time. The dog that was reported to have the virus in the Houston area came from Chicago with its owners.